We're looking at how to set up an ongoing virtual meeting in Zoom so that when your students click on the link in your class, you'll get an email notification that lets you join them in the Zoom meeting instead of running a Zoom meeting and waiting in there for students to show up. So there's gonna be two different places you're gonna to need to make some, some setting changes. And we're on the uh, Zoom profile settings in the web browser here. And the first thing you're gonna to need to do under schedule meeting is you need to allow join before host because this allows students to get into the meeting before you're there and you won't actually be there until you get the notification and so now we'll look at the email notification which is right here uh, when attendees join meeting before host this is super important too so you'll get an email that they're in the meeting waiting for you all right so that's the first part of this virtual meeting the second part you're going to create a meeting, which is up here on the upper right corner. You do need to hit, maybe you don't need to hit save. All right, we're gonna go schedule a meeting. I've already had one set up here and my topic is pretty descriptive here. I say, welcome to my office hours. These are the times I'm usually available. And just tell students I'll receive a notification when you're here and I'll try to join you in under 10 minutes. You can put whatever you want on the topic. This is a detailed, a description that when they actually are in that virtual meeting, it looks a lot like a waiting room. They're going to see all this information and it has my, well, it, it will have my actual email here in case I can't join them. All right. The really important part, you need to set up your meeting to be recurring and have no fixed time. That means it doesn't start. It doesn't end. It's always going. So this does mean you can get an email notification in the middle of the night. Uh, the way I fix that issue is I just silence the email notifications at night on my phone and then I don't typically get students joining in the middle of the night, so that's not a problem for me. Uh, I like to do a generated meeting ID, ID right here. I do like to have a password. You can make a better password than that one. Uh, there is one more. You need to make sure enable join before host is checked. It should already be checked if you change your settings and then you're going to hit save and that should create your meeting right there ongoing. Then this invite link is the other thing you need. This is what you're gonna put either in your online class or in your syllabus or however you wanna distribute it to students, but this invite link is how students are going to join this particular Zoom meeting. You'll get that email notification. You click on that, your Zoom app will uh, start up and you'll be right inside that meeting with that student. All right, good luck.